My name is Lama Sangak Damchu Chichi Tsomo, Lady of the Lake of Secret Dharma Language, Tantra. To some, I'm Linda Pritzker. To some, I'm Lama Tsomo. And they're both really my name. I was given my first name, Linda Pritzker, by my parents. Then after many years and lots of study, practice, years of retreat and so on under Tukusangak Rinpoche, he bestowed the Lama title. When I was growing up, we had a very comfortable existence, but there was an inherent discomfort that I as a child was paying more attention to. There was a background melancholia, you know, I felt a bit melancholy. A lot of people have this sense that if I just had enough money, I'd be happy. Uh, and it, it sort of seems that way, and it's always this elusive, oh, if I just could pay for this, or just buy this, or just do this, I'd be happy. But if you look around, you know, we've all read ad nauseum, the, the stories of people with lots of money, who still are very clearly not happy. I came to realize that as long as you have the basics in life, you know, basic food, shelter, clothing. After that, a lot of it is dependent on what's going on in the inside, because where you experience happiness is on the inside. And so, fast forward to meeting Tukusangak Rinpoche. He was so knowledgeable and so experienced from his own years of sitting on the cushion and seeing how his mind worked. And he uh, had a deep understanding of this body of work that had been honed and refined for thousands of years. I was finding answers to questions that I'd had that nobody else could answer. I was finding answers to questions I didn't know I had. And I was really understanding much more, getting guidance for what direction to look in. To, uh, then, when I'm sitting on the cushion, I can understand, oh, this is really how my mind works. I see it. Basically, enlightenment is um, it's about clearing away um, something that really isn't our true selves. People often think, well, if you're Buddhist, then you know, you're just always very equanimous. And actually what they're thinking is, you're sort of half asleep and indifferent. That's not it at all. Indifference is actually named as the near enemy of equanimity. So real equanimity is passionately caring about everybody out there and being engaged without being sort of entrapped by life. I do prayers on a daily basis for the world. That's part of my practice. And after doing this for a long time, every day, you just find yourself saying, I wish everybody could just wake up, because the more awake we all are, the more we're going to realize we're not actually separate. So it's not about my happiness against your happiness. We can all work together to be happy, and that's actually the only way it's going to work. I want a meaningful life. That's what actually makes me happy at the end of the day. And at the end of my life, what's going to have made me happy is that I've spent it helping people to be better, happier people. So sharing these methods is, I think, a great way to do it.